all content is content, right? Today, I am going to be unpacking my car. I got a couple more mining rig frames and a few more GPUs that I traded for. Not this. Um, but this is one of my older 12 card. This is, I think, my second ever 12 card rig. And it's been through some changes, but it's been GA104 only since the beginning. And I have been slowly rotating out the 3070s and rotating in 3060 Ti's. I've only got two more 3070s in here, and I'm curious if you guys have 3070 XCs and you have them in Hive OS, do you also have this where the third fan just doesn't spin up? When they're in Windows, they work just fine, and the 3060 Ti FTW3, which is the same cooler, works just fine. So that's a little bit odd, but uh, let's go over to the car, open up the hatch, and take a look at what we got. Okay, so I've never even seen a frame like this. We'll unpack that, but we've got a pair of 1200 P2s. We have a TB85 6 GPU. Uh, over here, looks like we have two more 1200 P2s. Looks like a bare TB85, uh, like an OEM Dell motherboard. And then over there, looks like we have another old frame with two boards in it as well. So. Let me get all this out. We'll put it on the floor, see what we have. We'll catalog it. And yeah, go from there. Well, it looks like we actually have a 12 GPU board in there. Curious to pull that apart and see what it is. Not sure if it's one of those Chinesium ones or if it's one of the older, like, FinTech boards. Looks like we have one SSD. A lot of these risers are Molex only. 006Cs, man. We do have one mining splitter adapter card. We'll see what we have for a CPU there. I do have an entire baggie full of cables. And this is kind of cool, I forgot about this. I actually traded him uh, his half of a split check. It's a 4790 i7. So I'll be throwing that in one of my Octominer X8s. TP37, lots of risers. This one's actually got PCIe on it. What a novel idea. Let me pull all this crap apart. And, oh man. Very little care given, um, and I'll kind of categorize it and set it on the ground. We'll see what we ended up with. I also have a pair of other SSDs that were in my car from a previous haul. So let's take a peek. All right, I have everything unbundled. Uh, the TB85 in here with four gigs of RAM, I'm just gonna leave because in the future, I will probably sell all these off as like six GPU turnkey rigs with some older cards in them. So those will end up going back in here. I'll have to find a cooler for that TB85. Um, I am appalled by how many of these risers are Molex only. I have 21 Molex only risers, and I know for a fact that this rig, which had all Molex risers, had six 3090s in it for a long time. So that's really sketchy. This frame is interesting. It's an 8 GPU frame. Um, it didn't have fans in it. I don't know if it ever did. We have 8 gigs of DDR4 in this. Uh, I don't know what CPU is in it yet, but that's one of those BTC 12P uh, China motherboards. Riser cables, I do have two gigs of DDR3 in here. I guess I can add that to one of these other TB85 systems just to bolster it a little bit. Uh, the splitter cards, whatever. I have three good and one not so good power cord, um, a few SATA cables, only one 60 gig SSD. And boy, several of these risers were running on SATA as well. So it's just sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Unfortunately, one of these PSUs is not a P2. It's a G2. Unfortunately, those are definitely worth less money. So messaged him back. I'm like, we're not splitting the next tab. That one's on you. So anyway, I do still have a bunch of extra cables. Um, most of them are fairly well populated except for the G2. Uh, that one is missing a lot of peripheral cords. So I'm guessing they are in here as well. But a decent haul. I'm not quite as stoked on it as I was when I picked it all up, but it'll do. Uh, like I said, I did pick up a 3070 uh, gaming OCAG gigabyte card, uh, a 3070 Ti Tough, and a 6700 XT reference. And those are all uh, in the mines already. So 
there's all this stuff. I need to kind of condense it a little bit better, catalog it, and figure out exactly what's going on. But yeah, I'm still buying hardware. What about you guys? Are you still buying hardware?